Hey Aquarius, welcome to your August, mid-August. It's so cold. I just can't get it straight, Aquarius. <laughs> it's like I, I put the heater on 70, then I start doing these readings, and you know, you're dealing with supernatural power. So it starts getting kind of hot, right? So then I put the air conditioner on, then it and then you know, this between readings is cold. So I don't know. Anyway, welcome. I am Sunshine. If you're new, this is Sunshine Tarot. Subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I upload a video. If you want a reading, the uh, my um, what's that called? My website address is in the description box. But if you want a reading, is www.sunshinetarot.net, and you can get a Zoom reading, a phone reading, a video reading, anything you want. And um, what else? It's not going to resonate with every Aquarius out there. And you, you know what to do. Try your moon sign. Try your rising sign. And that is it. Okay? Hi, Aquarius. What fell out is the two of swords reverse at the heart of the matter, you know? So, um... I think you're kind of clear about what you want to do. Um with a, a relationship you feel like a bride in a cage and i feel like you you re you want to be married some of you really want like a long-term committed a uh, solid relationship um but it's like um it wasn't gelling it wasn't gelling you guys may not have been seeing eye to eye with each other or you could just be wanting more out of a relationship than this person is able to give you right so it's kind of like you are uh, releasing yourself from a toxic situation or from you know a lot of you were dealing with Gemini's it's like you really want to be with this person and you want it to work but they're not meeting you halfway it's like it's not moving towards commitment there's a lot of false starts you know like you think that things are going to be up and popping and going and then it just falls to the side or it doesn't like you know really take off you know um and you're tired of it you know you're tired of it you're tired of giving your all to a situation um, I don't feel like you're completely throwing it away. You know, you're still holding on a little bit. You know, you're trying to give them a chance. But it does seem kind of clear that uh, you are okay with walking away from something that just apparently is not working. And you have come to terms with that. Okay, like you really have found a place. I don't know if your person knows that, but you have come to a place in your heart where you feel like, you know what, uh, you know how when you're really into somebody, you don't want to think about it not working? Well, I feel like you have entertained that, you know, uh, maybe I would be better off by myself. Um, and I feel, yeah, the four swords are reversed. Some of you know that uh, you're dealing with somebody that uh, you don't see yourself marrying, okay? And Aquarius, this could be vice versa. There could be somebody who really wants to marry you, right? A bride in the cage, like they're waiting. They're waiting to move to the next level. They're waiting for you guys um, to have a baby, to get married. Um, but it, it looks like you're very clear about the fact that although you love this person, you do not want to marry them. And you're clear about it. And, you know, you are, um, I, you feel like uh, this person will accept uh, you for, I feel like you feel like you would be willing to stay in this relationship, in a relationship, and give them something. But I don't know if, you know, you will give them marriage or uh, if it's not that way, I feel like Aquarius, you have made peace with a very strong connection with someone who means a lot to you not working out. You've made peace with that, okay? 
um, where are they coming from? It could be a Sagittarius, somebody that has fire in their chart. They have given this to God, right? Um, they also think you're a real cool person. They are very modern, kind of laid back in how they're seeing things. You know, they're still trying to wait it out uh, and see, you know, um, if you guys can re rejuvenate this connection or if you guys can... Um, make this work you could be dealing with a scorpio all right they still have hope that they will be your wife or that uh you guys can get married um maybe it could be a libra could be a taurus right uh they still have hope that this can work very much so all right and uh they're willing to try anything really to make it work with you, okay? But I do see an X in the picture. There could be an X that you still love, an X that won't let you go, an X that you haven't let go of as well, okay? And I believe that it really bothers this person a lot. And this could be vice versa, okay? Um, so, you know, and and you you know what i mean like it could be vice versa here you could really want to get married to someone that's not quite marrying you um your person is really willing to sacrifice for you aquarius you know um but you you have to pay for it later you know they'll let you know what they've done for you you know they might say after i've done this to you after i've done this for you you can't do that for me um I feel like your person is going to be peaceful the last couple of weeks of uh, August because they're not sure where you're coming from, okay? Like you are at this place where you are borderline, I can take or leave you. And that gives you a lot of power and uh, or they're at this place. And, you know, because that makes somebody not show their ass. So I see that somebody is really going to be... Um, on their best behavior but your person kind of feels alone they don't really feel connected they feel like you may not want them as much as they want you or you could be feeling that way right a lot of you are dealing with the gemini you see the twins okay um and a lot of you feel very connected to this gemini all right um, but it, it just is a relationship that is just tiring you down, you know, it's exhausting. And, um, I mean, you, you, you really vibe with this person. You, you care about them, but this connection is, ex is just exhausting and it, it's bringing out the worst in you too. And it, it says fated to suffer. So I feel like you, you and this Gemini, um, those of you who are dealing with Geminis, it, it looks like one of you um, is ready to like maybe see if this can get serious and the other one uh, is not feeling like that. Um, the other one is okay with things it could be anybody really it, it seems like somebody wants to move this forward and somebody is okay with things um kind of staying how they are um let's see aquarius aquarius Um, you could be dealing with a Libra, okay? You could have Libra in your chart. Uh, let's see. I feel like you... Uh, let's see. I just don't... I just don't think that... Who, I just don't think that you are in love, but you feel like you got a good man or a good woman, something like that. 
all right? Um, some of you, yeah, that's what I feel. I feel like you are not in love, but you feel like you have a good person that, um, with the justice here, you may want to marry one day, okay? One of you wants to marry, the other one is not so sure. One of you, somebody uh, wants to build, wants to get married, wants to, you know, put their assets together, further this relationship, but you, not so much. It, you secretly feel like you still haven't found your wife or you you feel like um, you haven't found um, your significant other you, know? you feel like there's a disconnect between you and um, this person that's some of you okay um, all right so, cross watcher, how does Aquarius feel about you? Cross watcher, how does Aquarius? No, no, no. Let's not do that. Aquarius, if you've been waiting to hear from someone, well, you got the Empress. If you're waiting to hear from someone, I believe you're going to hear from them. Let's see though, especially a Libra or Taurus. Let's see. Aquarius, wow. Aquarius waiting to hear from someone. You are definitely going to hear. Now, you're going to either hear from that person or a relationship that is so solid and secure and beautiful is coming in your direction that you're not even going to trip off the last person who you were waiting for. But um, now, otherwise, I definitely feel like somebody loves you very much. And uh, I feel like they're going to offer you long-term commitment with the Empress here. Because all the queens serve the Empress and the queen is giving the coin to the Empress. So I feel like somebody, uh, if you're waiting to hear from someone, you are definitely going to hear from that person again. Especially a Libra, especially a Taurus. Okay, Virgo, Capricorn is here. But I do see Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces here too. But it's just that Libra and Taurus is the strongest. All right. Um, and it looks like you guys uh, have an opportunity to fall in love with each other. Okay. If you're waiting for an Aquarius. Okay. What is in the cards if you're waiting for an Aquarius? What is in the cards if you're waiting for an Aquarius? What is in the cards if you're waiting for an Aquarius? Um... You're going to be waiting for a long time. All right. It looks like the Aquarius has moved on, possibly with the Cancer or a Leo. And if they haven't moved on, uh, they're moving on, like strongly. They're moving on. They could have literally moved, like across the country or someplace else. Their back is turned to you, uh, and they're very strong. Right? Like not talking to you is not making them weak, hurt, sorrow, miss you or nothing. Nothing. You know, um, they're doing very well. At first it was hard, but now they're, you know, they're getting strong. And by the end of uh, August, they're going to be real strong. So if you're waiting to hear from an Aquarius, uh, you might be waiting a little bit longer than August. Okay. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. Okay, now those of you who are Aquariuses that are dealing with Geminis, because there are so many of you that I'm going to look into the cards for an Aquarius and Gemini for August, okay? All right, Aquarius and Gemini for August. Aquarius and Gemini for August, okay? You guys are on a break, okay? You guys go back and forth. You guys are hot and cold, off and on. Hot and cold, right? And uh, there's a lot of passion here. Uh, I also see a Libra. So some of you Aquariuses could be dealing with the Libra. And in August, I see you talking and then I see you don't talk. Then I see you talking and then you don't talk. So uh, where is it going uh, in the next couple of weeks? I feel like you're not going to be interested in anything that uh, this person has to offer because it's not strong enough. All right. 
there could be multiple people that like you, but um, I, I feel like uh, you know you you love or you you're passionate about this Gemini or this Gemini is passionate about you, but I just don't feel like there's enough passion to kickstart this into a full fledged relationship in August. And if it does get into a relationship, there are definitely other people, definitely other people that are around. Okay. All right, Aquarius. All right, cross watcher. Uh, well, Aquarius, how, how? Let's see if we can get another read for Aquarius. Let's see if we can get another read for Aquarius. Aquarius, another read. Six of Cups. So some of you got back together again with somebody from the past and it didn't work out, okay? Or you could be seeing somebody that, you, that you've been seeing for a long time and it's not working out, right? Um, and it's not working out because you guys are not moving towards a relationship, right? It could just be sex, could be sex with friends with benefits, right? Um, some people say, well, no, it's not friends with benefits because we've been seeing each other for two years and, um, well, are you committed? No, well, that's a friend who you fuck. Okay, so I see a friend that some of you have sex with, but some of you think of it as more than that, but, you know, they haven't given you the title. Um, and it looks like they're not going to give you a title. So some of you are dealing with someone, you're sexual, you're sexual with them, and you're hurting um, that this is not moving into a relationship. So you've backed off, um, and you're hoping that... Um, and this could be your girlfriend or boyfriend, but it's not moving to marriage. You're hoping by backing off, it would give them the vigor to come forward, but they are not um, because they do not want to turn this into a um, relationship. Okay? They want a relationship with you. They want some kind of relationship with you. Yeah, they want some kind. They want exactly what you guys have now. That's exactly what they want. So uh, some of you, um, you know, are still, are, are you, some of you have gotten back together with somebody from the past or you deal with someone that you've been dealing with from the past for many years and it's caused you a lot of heartache because it's hot and cold and um, there's other people. Um, I do feel like some of you are in relationships though, like you're in a relationship. Um, and yeah, I, I, I do see some of you go, being in a relationship, some kind of, but the person is coming in as a knight. Knights are real strong, but they're not a kings. Kings want to get married. So this person kind of, well, some of you are dealing with somebody who's just going to um, drag this thing out for years and years and years without a marriage proposal. But a lot of Aquarius is, you know, they are, uh, don't are commitment phobes, so that's okay, right? The wheel of fortune reversed. Like, I don't see the status of this relationship changing. It just goes hot and cold, and, um, you know, there's sex, but then there's no ring, you know? Like, if you haven't met the mama yet, and it's been more than a year, then this person is not trying to wipe you up at all, okay? Um, so... Aquarius singles. Let's see if we can get anything for Aquarius singles. Aquarius singles. Aquarius singles. Aquarius singles. There's somebody from the past that you really want. You really want to build something with somebody from the past. Uh, or there's somebody new. Okay, it could be two people. One from the past, somebody new. Um, let's see here. I feel like um, you really care deeply for somebody. I feel like somebody cares deeply for you. Um, they And then it just like abruptly ends. It could have already happened. Uh, it looks like you guys have different attachment styles with love. One person is anxious and the other person is secure, you know? Um, but I don't see single uh, Aquariuses really happy uh, in uh, mid-August with their 
uh, relationships, it looks like you are ready. You have chosen someone, um, but you're not getting the same um, response back. Like they're sabotaging the relationship while you are the one that's holding it up, okay? Now in August, you two, um, you two talk, you may even see each other, but it just doesn't look like, you know, it goes anywhere. It's like, uh, uh, you know, you'll see each other when you see each other, you talk when you talk, but nobody is um, being accountable and um, really trying to do something solid here all right all right last shuffle aquarius in relationships aquarius in relationships or seeing someone aquarius and this is not going to resonate with every aquarius out there okay um i'm just telling you what i see this is entertainment take what you like leave the rest okay aquarius in relationships because you know what's going on in your heart anyway all right, Aquarius, in relationships, let's look at the rest of August, uh, the Knight of Cups. So there is an ex that's involved. Uh, your person still has feelings for this ex, or you still, has fe you still have feelings for ex. You guys could have children with each other, okay? Or an ex who um, you've had a child with may come back. Um... I see you being left in the dark about some something romantically, okay? Like you don't know where somebody is coming from and you're really left in the dark or you could be leaving somebody else in the dark. However, nevertheless, I still see uh, the two of you committed to each other even though there's other people that are around. It looks like somebody, maybe this ex, is going to be leaving the picture. So I feel like you could be feeling more than one person, okay? And um, I feel like there's an ex that's going to come around uh, and kind of mess with you a little bit, or there's somebody that messes with your head, kind of leaves you in a dark place, a lot of mind games, okay? Um, and then they turn around and say that they love you or they want to be with you, and then they leave. You know, it's like, it's it's a mind game here. But I feel like some of you are in a relationship in August, but you're, you're sort of kind of emotionally leaving a relationship. You could be in one, but you're emotionally slowly walking away, okay? And um, you may not physically be gone yet, but you have been considering you know, um, what it would be like maybe to be, you know, with someone else. But I still feel you giving most of your attention to who you're with, right? But you don't like you guys' communication. Um, like, there's something about you guys leave each other in the dark a lot. Like, you don't have the type of com communication that you need to have in order to make this work, all right? But you guys are very committed to each other. But I see you slowly walking away um, towards uh, this connection ending. Now, you may do something else in September, but in... Um, August, that's what it looks like to me. Okay. Now, the charms may say something completely different. Or if that doesn't sound like your story, that's just not your story. Ooh, Aquarius, the one will be here this year. Okay? Because you know, like when... Um, when, when somebody's in love, they don't take three to five years to marry you. Yeah, I mean, um, if you feel like this is the one, like the person that I was with for 10 years, I didn't feel like I wanted to marry him. He didn't feel like the man that I wanted to be with. Okay, but you're going to meet someone and they're going to feel like uh, this is the person that you want to be with. Okay, um, they may come from out of town. You may uh, meet them in, I don't know, they, you guys may both be transplants to your city or they just transplanted where you live. That's a possibility. They may like horses or be a Sagittarius, okay? Um, the charms are saying, you know, this person who you're with, who you're falling out of love with, um, they're saying that, you know, be, be authentic with this person and then you will have a friend for life. 
but as long as you're in this connection that you're kind of falling out of, you won't meet this new person that's coming. But I still see them in the charm. So I definitely feel like uh, some of you have met or you will be meeting someone that you would be traveling with, right? You guys are going to be friends first. Uh, and like this is going to be somebody who you can just completely be yourself around. All right. And um, both of you are going to feel like you have found the one. All right. All right. OK, Aquarius, let's take a look at uh, your extended reading. OK, we're going to pull the cards out now. Now, in the extended reading, those of you who are new, I do singles and then I do couples. So where is this relationship going for singles? Where is this relationship going for couples? You know what I mean? I'm going to read those as how your person is uh, viewing you. OK, it fell out like that. Um, all right, so Aquarius, where is this relationship going mid-August? How does your person feel about you? Crosswatcher, how does Aquarius feel about you? Aquarius, what is your person hiding? Crosswatcher, what is Aquarius hiding? Is there anyone else? If so, where is it going from here? Crosswatcher, does Aquarius have anyone else? If so, where is it going from here? Okay. What is Aquarius's next action going to be? Aquarius, what is your person next action going to be? How do they secretly feel about you? Aquarius, how does your person secretly feel about you? And what is the outcome for mid-August? All right. Now remember, I do this for singles and couples, all right? So, uh, Aquarius, how is your person viewing you? The Knight of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, uh, the Ace of Swords reverse, and the Eight of Wands reverse. They feel like you're kind of moving on. They feel like uh, they feel like you're still involved with them, right? Um, they could be. Uh, somebody could possibly feel like you're over pursuing. You know, like uh, possibly, and that doesn't sound like the Aquarius, that sounds more like a fire sign. Somebody could be overly pursuing you, or you could be overly pursuing someone else, okay? Um, and it's kind of scaring them a little bit. They feel uh, like maybe you're coming off kind of uh, desperate, all right? Some of you, okay? They, uh, let's see, how much more time do we have? They, uh, they want you to what? They want you to chill. They, they have a plan on uh, wanting to continue to see you because uh, they are really romantically attracted to you, right? Um, but they feel uh, like uh, that you are overly pursuing or, or, they are overly pursuing. They're very attracted to you, all right? And they're very passionate about you. Some of them may feel like you don't contact them enough, too, all right? All right, uh, Aquarius in relationships, how is your person seeing you? Your person is seeing you as um, someone who, uh, they, who is getting tired of them. They, they don't think that you would cheat on them, but they see, they feel like you're getting tired of them and that um, you may want another lover. They are very afraid that you may go off with someone else as well, okay? So if you want to see the extended version of this video, there is a link at the top of the uh, comment section and in the description box. It'll say click below for the Aquarius extended reading and you can be transferred to Vimeo or to my website where for a nominal fee you can purchase the video. Okay. Thank you so much Aquarius. I love you and you know what to do if you want a reading. All right. God bless.